Hello everyone, and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we kind of continued on here. We learned some things, how shoots work differently than they used to. Meaning you can only put them in in certain locations. Up here there's two locations, here there's one, and the lumber mill, of course there's only one. And if you look at our lumber mill, is um, out in the wire storage says zero paper. We're not making paper. So of course we're not gonna have any storage of that. But um, we're not making paper, we're not, imp sorry, we are, <laughs> we are not doing this very quickly. And I don't know, you know why it's not going very quickly. Well, I, or sorry, I, that's the wrong thing to say is it's only 1.2 seconds per, but we're, we're taking him as soon as we're getting him, we're taking him. But if you look at our housing, everybody has four. Our general store has 16 planks. Our inventory, the food market is a bit slacking because we have nothing, we have no inventory for food at all right now, which is a bit concerning a bit. So let's just hire, I want to hire a couple people. I want this person to gather wheat here, take it right, because they will still, even though, let's just backtrack a sec. Even though basic food is various, various things, including raw things like carrots and potatoes or whatever, you have flour, which is a four experience, four yellow coin. Happiness of one, right? But the, if you are giving them, also giving them grain, that also gives them a happiness of one which means that gives you happiness of two. Because right now our basic food is one of four, which means we can obviously improve on that greatly. We don't have any water either yet, which that's something that I think I wanna put in right now. Now, I don't exa exactly know how the water works. That's not where I wanted to put it. It used to be able to just hover over it and, and be able to, um, that's good. And I wanna put a worker he here to distribute work water to the houses. Now, I th they th they should carry it. Yes, this is one thing that is good about water is they will carry it to each house. Now, I don't know if later on when you start having the, the fluid pipes, if you can connect housing with pipes for water, which would be so cool, by the way. Now, let's double click on this. Now, our happiness is six out of 13 because our water happiness is one. And all you need is just one basic food. See, water is, is basically water. You get one happiness, one coin, one experience, basically for nothing. Now, the happiness duration is only 10 seconds, so it goes by very quickly. But that's okay because, yeah, we have none in our inventory yet. So, again, this is just just to get some happiness going. Some are six, some are five, some are six, etc., etc. We just got a house upgrade right here, which is awesome. We got another house upgrade right there, which is great. We hit this goal here. This is to reach our next tech level, which this is something we're gonna have to start working on as well. And one good thing, as I'm looking at things and just wanna point them out is, if you can get the workers to stand right next to a resource where the chute is, they will literally just stand here and go boop, 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 boop. But since this one is now used up, it has to walk. This one I think is grabbing it from here. So this will be able to stand here for one more and that's gone. Now it's gonna have, oh, it's actually grabbing from, from this one. <laughs> This is kind of cool. This one's obviously carrying it in from over here, which is fine. And we're doing very well with this. This person is, yeah, there's 20 planks and then this one is 20 water. So we have, yeah, we have a lot, but I'm gonna leave the worker there. Like he, he, there's no point to not have them there at this point. Okay, so if you see down on the bottom left, we obviously have more research available, which we're gonna check on in a second. But we also have an idle worker which is, where is the idle worker? This guy or this person, oh yeah. I wanted them to start delivering, I'm not exactly sure, oh, cotton. I want them to start picking cotton and delivering that to, uh, no, so if you, and you, if you highlight, like I have my right mouse button clicked, like held down, you see that the general store, the general store, the town hall and every house is highlighted, which means that's where you can connect these with. So I'm gonna drag it actually to the general store. And this is where we can start getting shoots put in for a general store. But I think for now, we're just gonna leave it and we're just gonna put a path in for this person. 
Now, cotton is good. Again, let's look in here. Cotton will be under clothing, and it's just basic cotton or basic basic resource. So you're only going to have you get one red coin, one experience, one happiness. Food gives you yellow coins, typically. Hardware and things that you like wear give you red coins, and things like medicine and education, not education, uh, medicine, maybe gourmet. No, because that's a food. Medicine, blue coins, and then you got to get up into here to start getting. I'm not sure even what gives you purple coins at this point. These do. These would be luxury items. But in the early game, the only thing you really need is red and yellow. And if you look at it, we have plenty of yellow, plenty of red. I say that now, but we will be spending it. This is so cool. So these guys are obviously keeping way up with this. And since they are keeping way up, what we can do is we can actually take this guy and we're going to drag him to here to get some more cotton in. Because we're going to need it. We'll just put a path up here. Simple as that. And there you go. Now, the general stores, as well as the food markets, you used to be able to drag, yeah, you used to be able to drag, so there you can, I don't know if you can do that, as I was saying, you used to be able to drag a chute right into that, but I believe that is no longer able to do that. No longer, you can, you can no longer do that, which is kind of a bummer. But I have a feeling as we start unlocking more tech, there'll be a, there'll be a much more uh, auto automated, efficient way to do so. And right now we're doing really well. We need to start making wagon wheels though, which reminds me to check our research, which is not this, which is this. Wow, we have two things to unlock and that's it because we need to start getting our tech level up. So it's a pro and con. So wooden conveyor belts are good, which is actually under... No, it's not under here. Um, it's under something else. Wooden conveyor belts are good. We can probably actually unlock both of these. 150 research, which we can do definitely that. So let's do that. We automatically transport items along wooden rollers. And that means that can go up and down hills and or up and down raised um, pathways and, and raised uh, scaffolding because because shoots can only go straight and downhill. That's great. And it tells you conveyor belts are critical. This hasn't been updated since last time. However, it shows you can run this into a building, so we'll see if that's still true. Conveyor belts are critical tools for automating your town. Place them on a building's front tile, and resources will automatically be output on them and carried away. You can also directly feed resources into any other side or level of a building from a... That's interesting. Into any other side or level of a building from a belt. That's so interesting. So what I want to do, I want to test that right now. However, I don't think we're going to be able to build any because we don't have any. Oh, what? You got to. Where is that made? You got to actually make. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's OK. Hold on. Let's get out of this. <laughs> this is so interesting. OK. Unpause it there. Building menu. So. Log bridge, that's super cool. So a wooden conveyor belt, you need to make it at a workshop. Interesting. That is so interesting. Okay, well, we're going to hold off on that then. I just wanted to test it to see how it worked. And the last thing we can do is bid civics level one, which gives you um, town center, an extra town center, uh, two more houses. And obviously that's going to go, oh, we already just clicked it. And now we can't research anything else until we get our tech level up, which means we need to make 10 wooden wheels, and that's made at a workshop, which we do not have workshops at the moment. But all we go in here is we go to buildings, and we go to workshop, and we can actually put the workshop right here. And we are going to make wooden wheels, and that means they need planks. Funny enough, we have planks being made right here, and we actually have tons of planks. So I want to wait for this guy to come back. We're going to drag a plank here. To there simple as that and we're going to have a couple workers this is going to be taking this out and i think i'm not sure if we just have to make that amount or if we have to store it but i want to just store it for now until i figure out which is the which is the proper thing and i think we might actually have to start making more another workshop to make planks and we definitely we definitely have to so we can go to make another lumber mill here and we can have this one 
Oops, this one's going to make planks. This person can grab planks here and to here. And what we can do here is we can start setting up. Do I have this backwards again? No, it's the right way. We can start setting up another shoot system. You have to get them out of the way. And we can put in two more workers. This guy's going to grab from here to here. This one's going to grab from here to here now. This one's going to grab from here to here. And this one's going to grab from here to there. Just to spread it out a bit. And these guys are waiting for things, of course. We have one wagon wheel going in. Oh, hold on a second. How did that get to seven already? What? What is the recipe? I guess because I was chit-chatting, we we're up to seven. Now, I don't know why we shouldn't be at an upgrade yet. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So the town center upgrades. Can I double click on that? This is also very cool. Potentially doubles the output of... Wow, okay. This is new as well. So you can specify a town industry, and that's within this. So right now we have none, but if we click on farming, potentially doubles the output of related recipes. Probable, probability increases with town center level. Twice output chance, 40%, and it's as long as you specialize in food. or for This is very cool. So this makes you want to have certain type of districts. You want to have a farming district. You want to have a forestry district. Wow, this is super cool. Right now we have nothing because we're not... I don't even know what it would, what you would want to do. Maybe this? Oh, we can't unlock it anyway. How do you unlock it? Oh, requires, oh, I see, requires things. Interesting. So anyway, as I was saying is our upgrade is ready and that's based on having the houses, the linked house levels. Number of linked houses plus houses upgraded. And then this is obviously has to be 24. Now this doesn't, this isn't shown anywhere over here. Is it? Which is what makes me, I guess it doesn't, I don't know how you, oh, I bet you I know how. It tells you right here, uh, here. I wasn't paying attention. Because we have 25 of 24, like, satisfied, I guess you could say, we could upgrade. And upgrading it is good. Oh, it actually increases the building, which is super cool. Now the next upgrade we need is gonna be 48 linked various things. And just like that, we have our tech level. Now we can research all of these things, farming, forestry, intermediate logistics, boat building, which is something that's new, a kitchen, that seems new as well, fluid pipes, that is what really, oh, it just says required for steam power, okay. A tailor, that's, oh, maybe they reach have tailors. Coin boosters, wow. Wooden, we're already getting railways, wow. Forestry, farming is good because we, we don't have to, Harvest crops. We can we can put our crops somewhere else and bring them in. One thing I do want to research, which I do not see it yet. Where is this under? To get um, I want to get our carts not in the game anymore. A wagon. That's what I wanted because now wagons act as a person, but but. They're, they can hold, I believe they can hold four items per instead of a worker with one. So, which makes me think to our, makes me think to myself, is it time to relay out this place? Because right now everything is going into everything. Like we should have this farming area should be up here. And, and, and these things should be, we should be having little areas set up. Now, as long as your food market, your school, your town center, so to speak, and your general store as of now, as long as they're all, as long as your houses are all underneath this, within this, this in this circle, you're going to get a benefit. And they also have to be hooked into, um, on a path. But I think we should almost start expanding a bit more. Because everything's just really, really tight in here. Now, we have things like apples here. We have things like carrots out here. Now, then that's just to use them. One other thing I want to look at is farming. Now, we don't have enough research. We can do fluid pipes, but it just as required for steam power. So I don't think fluid pipes are actually used. What, are, what would that even be under? Is 
It's not under that. Where would a fluid pipe even be under? Oh, pipes. Duh. So a fluid pipe. Pipe that carries water and various... Oh, this is interesting. me. This interests me. Fluid pipe connector. A structure that lets water and other fluids flow into or out of a building. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Because this is a steam pipe for steam. That... I, I'm very curious about how fluid pipes work. Because we can obviously... We need water. Which we have water. We're not low on that. But in a way to automate that, it would be super cool. Because I wonder if everybody has water. They do. So we're actually doing okay with water. Yeah, we're doing final water. So that interests me. So I think the first research I want to get is going to be pipes. Which we can actually get right now. This interests me so much that I want to look at it. Because as I said to you guys, I haven't played this prior to playing this, this, this Let's Play. Because I wanted to experience and learn things as you guys are watching. Which may not make for the like the greatest video in the what is this? Let's make fluid pipe lumber mill. Okay. So we actually have a lumber we have a lumber mill right here. I'm gonna make I'm gonna start making fluid pipes. Fluid pipes. I just want a couple of them. I'm not sure where they're gonna go. I guess they're just gonna build up here. Which we should still have we should still be able to build them, right? Oh, no, they have to be brought to the town center. Okay, that's fine. Um, how many people we have? We can bring fluid pipes to the town the town center. I just want to see how these work, to be honest with you. That's all I really want to do. This person here is doing nothing, so we can you can come and grab wood. I should extend. Uh, we, have, we have a lot to do. But I just want to see how this fluid pipe business works. Because it intrigues me. What does F do? Oh, world data. Cool. This int it's in intrigues me. Connector is... Um, let's just see if this is actually... These don't seem to cost any resources. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Look at this. House. Auto config. Oh. I don't auto config. Deposits into withdrawals. Buy. Pla what? So it's linked to a house. So you just kind of want to just go auto config, right? Now, if we put another one, I keep hitting the wrong button. If we put another one here, is that going to pull out? What? No way. Because raise. Oh, it's not linked to anything. Okay. Um. Let's uh M. Well, I think we have to actually put it on the. Fr oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. So if we take that and we spin this this way, and we take this and we just move it and then we move it. That should work, shouldn't it? Hmm. So how do you connect it to a well? Or doesn't that really... This one's not doing anything. It doesn't make any... Cause... No, 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 no. Because that... Link to house, access type input. So if we click that, we want to go to access type input. Deposits to input storage. No, I don't want to keep clicking on that. This, that. Hmm. This one here is linked to nothing. How do you link that to? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it's something like this. Okay. Uh, click on this. If you go like that, let's just see if it does that. And we actually want to output withdrawals from storage and then access type custom. Okay. And then it says, oh, link to well. Ah, this is interesting. Now let's put in a pipe. Is it going to be something like that? No way. Why is it? It can't end on that. No. Dude, no way. Oh, I, oh, I don't have enough. We need one more, I think. And then... Is it... Hmm. So obviously that's not right. 
the pauses to output um, withdrawals from output dude okay but hold on hold on hold on you can go over here you have nothing to do hold on hold on hold on this produces one water every two seconds and it no way are you serious right now and you drag it <laughs> oh my god okay i'm not sure about you guys but this makes me like free like flabbergasted it takes a bit to set up but yeah all you do is hover over it and you can obviously see the little little water droplets underneath and this is going to be feeding water i mean it's only using um one water every 10 seconds but still, every 10, I'm not sure how you, oh, it produced by, oh, it tells you. Water shrine, water pump, water pump. That is so awesome. This, so this basically means as soon as 10 seconds goes by, let's just watch this automatically fill up. Because we're producing one every two seconds. So in theory, we could have five of these on one well. That is awesome. I mean, this is pretty simple to figure out. But this is like a game. Oh, that's so cool. Now, this person now doesn't have to do anything. Well, they have. They can do something else, I guess you'd say. And let's see. Maybe they can help with... Um, nope. No, 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 no. You can help. Come on, please. You can grab rock and put it... Interesting. No, 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 no. There. Awesome. But we do start thinking about farming because we are running out of grain, obviously. So let's go into farming, which we can actually do right now. Now, this is where it starts getting interesting because I believe you still need to use fertilizer. Yeah, okay, so we have a lot of things we have to do here. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to close that tooltip. Darn. Um, can I go to what I unlocked and read it again? Ah, uh, dang it. I wanted to read that tooltip. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure how to get that back. But the way a form works, or I should say, that I don't know why I keep hitting F. The way a form works is you have, oh, it's under um, buildings. So if you have a form, and a form has a box, basically an AOE effect, an area of effect, and anything that's inside of this box, it will harvest if it's selected. Now, the way that you got to do it is these are not infinite. These are a finite resource. As you can see, as I move my cursor around the top right of the screen, 29, 36, 26, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you place this here, it's linked to three cotton, and it's at the bottom of the thing. I wish that blue that blue text underneath the link to thing isn't there. Um, now, I'm sure you could maybe turn that off in a tooltip somewhere. But it's basically connected to 19 wheat sources, and it's linked to three cotton then you can set it up anyway you, you can just set it up just to harvest cotton if you want or you could have it set up to just harvest wheat but this is where the actual farm tiles come into play now a farm tile which is the thing to place it takes two fertilizer now fertilizer is made from a pasture and a pasture needs grain now pastures are going to be oh i don't think we actually have pastures yet do we Oh, here we do. Where is that? Um, oh, it'd be under buildings probably, right? Oh, we have to unlock pasture under animal. Okay. So, can we unlock that yet? We cannot. That takes 150. Now, that's just a way to get the stuff to make the form tile. But in the meantime, this is actually getting a little bit far away from my liking. But in the meantime, we can put down a, a form. It's just when you have the form tiles is it'll automatically, you can plant whatever you want in them, and it'll keep auto-replenishing uh, as time goes along. As long as you, it says here, allow water and fertilizer to, like, you, you feed it into the farm tile. It'll make more sense once we actually do that. But because we're running out of time, I just want to put down uh, one, here we go, one farm. And I guess the maximum yield would be from there, maybe 29 things. I guess you can't put it in the middle, can you? Oh, that's new. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Didn't know that. 
and I need to go into my tools to delete this resource. Now, what's going to happen is as soon as I hit the space on pause this, this is going to start filling up, as you see. And this is just pulling it from a random grain. Now, I used to be able to tell which one because it would have like a shimmy to it. Let's see where this is actually pulling. It may be random as well. And you can tell here affinity, which means higher affinity for resource type will cause us to produce more items in this location. Reduce affinity for a crop will increase each time it's grown. Yield is, oh, this is your yield here. So if it's a farm tile, obviously your yield will be more. Default is 10. Now this will, de well, deplete as time goes on. Like I said, these are finite resources, which I'm trying to find the one that is actually pulling from right now. Unless it doesn't, here, it pulled from that one. And this is going to be full already because it, it can only harvest this one because it has nowhere to go. Now what we got to do here is we need to set up a shoot. Now, I don't know if this will work. You, you, you should be able to drag this right across. Oh, yes, you can. And because we're... Oh, no, is that going uphill? Ooh. Um, okay, this is okay. Put it to here, and then we'll do a... Oh, will that not work? Do it like that. Nope. This is where getting this kind of set up makes more sense. There we go. And we're going to go back into our, our shoot here. Can you go away? Thank you. This can go here. Primitive. Yeah, we go. And that's going to go like that. And this is, should connect like that. And then this one here should connect. Oh, it auto connects like that. Interesting. And this should auto connect. Ah, very cool. Now you go. So this is gonna. This is actually very quick, because this is every two seconds we're getting one grain. And why did this stop? Oh no! Because <laughs> it went uphill. Okay. Let's uh, let's just delete all of this. I didn't realize it was uphill. Sorry, sorry guys. And then I think that should do it, right? That should do it. Okay. Let's go back into the shoot, and we can. Um, there we go. And this is so cool to see this because every two seconds we're we'll getting one in. And this is already going to start backing up like crazy because our input is almost full. But obviously the flow rate of this can be increased because we don't have water coming in. We don't have fertilizer coming in. All that would help increase your output, basically. But you know what? This is a passive way. So this is every two seconds we're gonna have one coming out. It's consistent, 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 and we have we're barely keeping up with that. Plus these three, which these are gonna be done very, very soon. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We're rolling right along. This is so fun. We still need to reorganize all of this. I made you it off camera, but we need to reorganize all this because it's just a bit of a mess. But we're getting there. We're gonna start looking into this thing, unlocking different things. Right now, we can't unlock anything. Because uh, we don't have anywhere near the research. And we might need to start making books or start bringing in more paper. Because right now I think I don't... We're making pipes. Which we actually have tons of pipe right now. So we can actually go back into here and take the fluid pipes out. Because we don't need to make any more. Well, we'll eventually get this all set up. But this is also super cool. Uh, super, super awesome. It has water. Crazy amount of water. This is great. This is great, great, great. Now, what would be better great is if you could put this underground, which I don't know if you could actually do that. Um, terrain block down. I bet you could. I don't know what the benefit would be because you can't place this on top of it. It has to go like this. This is also, this is like the coolest part of the game right now is these fluid pipes. And in a second, it's going to be like, bloop. We, oh, no, this actually has plenty of water in it. Super awesome. All right, guys. Look at that. Everybody, everybody's so happy. Everybody's so happy. Our happiness is at 3460. We got to start making wooden rails and conveyor belts. Keep working on our tech level, etc., etc. We're doing very well, guys. And this has been this is such a fun game, especially early game. Like this. What is that? Oh, those are giant carrots. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. These guys are out of a job. Oh, no. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button and I'll hit you guys up in the next, I don't want to say hit you guys up. I'll see you guys in the next 
video 